thanks for watching Freedom News Network. Once again, bringing you the truth. Once again, bringing you an update into the James Comey situation. Uh, following the conclusion of James Comey's testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee last night, uh, we've come to some very interesting conclusions based on the evidence. You have to remember that James Comey was under oath when he did testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee. Uh, so what he said can pretty much be vouched for. And it, it brings about some, some interesting contradictions in the mainstream narrative. Trump's lawyer this morning uh, saying something very interesting, saying that they will leave it up to the appropriate authorities to investigate and to decide uh, whether or not to investigate the James Comey leaks along with all of the other leaks. The irony is hilarious. Uh, so Trump's lawyer uh, is suggesting that Comey's deep state leaks uh, may need to be investigated along with the ones that uh, Comey has been investigating. So isn't that an interesting moment? Isn't the irony thick? Uh, and you know, uh, it shouldn't be hard to, to come to a conclusion on this since Comey himself admitted to be the deep state leaker, admitted that he had a direct part to play in leaking those confidential memos. Uh, in fact, that he told a friend to do it on his behalf. Now, we're not really sure as to the reason why these memos were leaked because there's contradicting theories. First of all, Comey claims that he did this in response to a, tw a tweet by Donald Trump on Friday. However, the New York Times, according to public record, uh, was caught leaking the details from these very same memos the day before on Thursday. Um, so it's interesting that, that he claims it's in response to a tweet because it doesn't appear to be. Comey himself admits that there's not one stick of evidence that suggests that one single vote changed uh, even if Russia was meddling with the election. Um, he says that there's no evidence that Donald Trump uh, influenced the investigation in any way, that there's no evidence that Trump had anything to do with the uh, meddling with the election or the alleged Russian hacks, which appearing to be uh, more and more like leakers by the day. Uh, and in fact, the main thing to come out of this whole thing is that in fact, Comey is indeed the leaker. So it doesn't appear that Trump is guilty of anything. But what have we learned from this? We've come to learn that the mainstream media cannot be relied upon, uh, that they constantly circulate false rhetoric to fit a narrative, uh, that they will report the headlines that they want to report to get their message across, that uh, the only hacks or interference in the election appear to come from internal leakers, possibly as far as we know, even Comey himself by his own admission, uh, that there doesn't seem to be any sort of meddling or outside of inter interference or collusion going on with the Trump campaign and that the only collusion that seems to be going on is that of the mainstream media and the Democrats uh, as proven by WikiLeaks publications in the case of Donna Brazil. So it brings us to the very important final question. Has Trump committed an impeachable offence? Is Trump guilty of all these wild conspiracy theories that, that seem to be dreamed up by the far-left dreamers? Or is it merely just a cover for what's really going on, which is a revolution of democracy, a revolution of the people arising up against the deep state and the establishment, the people declaring that, no, we will no longer stand for the corruption that we know is going on? You be the judge. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and... Um, Keep up the fight. God bless.